So tell me about yourself. I'm Chris, I'm 32 years old, and I work with cars. So tell us a little bit about Casey. Well, she worked at JB Hi-Fi for 12 years. During the time she started training uh, with my mum as a cosmetic surgeon slash hair transplant technician. She's since left JB Hi-Fi to do the hair transplant uh, work full time, which she really enjoys. Um, she really excels at that. She's into her old cars. She really likes old Datsuns. She has a 79 200B and really enjoys true crime podcasts. She's into her roller derby and uh, artsy and craftsy. She has actually quite a really good drawer. So where did you and Casey first meet? How long ago was it? Uh, we met 10 years ago at JB Hi-Fi. I started working there and she had already been working there a little bit. She was a counter staff member and I worked in games. So this is a photo of us when we were out one night at a bar. So how long have you planned to propose? Quite a while. We spoke about it quite early on in our relationship and uh, both agreed that it wasn't necessarily the most important thing to do. Confidently could say the past six to 12 months, uh, I've been definitely thinking about it quite a bit. What made you realize she was the one? 10 years of putting up with me is the best way I could describe it, but genuinely could not ask for a more beautiful, genuine person than Casey. How do you plan to propose? Uh, so for Christmas, I purchased some tickets to Queensland and uh, surprised her with those. Little does she know that I have a small group of friends coming with us. And um, at the moment, it's a bit of a tricky one because I'm not familiar with the area, but I am thinking of potentially finding a waterfall. And as we're sitting at the top of the waterfall, uh, tapping her on the shoulder and being on one knee. This one is a photo of us down in Inverloch. We enjoy going down there. A friend of ours has a caravan park nearby. How did your parents take it when you told them? Excited. Uh, I think they believe it's about time. <laughs> but no, they've been quite supportive and um, very encouraging, which is nice. So what do you think the future holds for you two? Provided everything goes well, we look forward to progressing our lives. Uh, we've both spoken about children in the past and I think that will be a reality within the next few years. Uh, but ultimately, I'm just happy to be spending my days with her. This one pretty much captures who we are. Casey being Casey and me being an idiot in the background with my car. Who are you? I'm Chris. I've known you for a while. I've known Casey for almost as long. Hi, Casey. <laughs> <laughs> Over the course of our relationship, how have you seen us grow? Like, you've known us the longest. Well, I mean, you guys have been as steady as it comes. You guys seem to support each other and understand each other. The understanding Casey has for you and the understanding and like what you have for her, man, like it's, um, it's fucking beautiful. Yeah. You both understand each other and that's something that's so hard to find. You might both have your own faults, but you both understand each other's faults and you can both help each other through that. I wouldn't go as far as saying I'm jealous, but I was of finding that like that's something that's it's really fucking hard to find that that understanding and um, you guys got it. What do you think of Casey as a person? She's, she's quiet. I would like to see and that was what I noticed like when I hadn't seen you guys in a while that like outgoingness I'd fucking love to see more of that because I know that's inside of her pushing for that and getting that getting that fucking social thing out of you guys but fuck man she's fucking awesome dude. I'm very proud of her and I'm proud of you. Casey, I love you. It's been like 10 years of being friends. I feel sorry for not always being there for you as much as I could have, but I'm gonna make that up to you. Um, you're a fucking gem and I'm a, I hope to be there for you guys in the future. Cheers. So are you worried at all? I've been a little bit nervous. Uh, I think more so to keep the whole trip a little bit under the radar. Uh, but I think I've achieved that with everyone's help. It's been, an interesting journey, but um, we can only see what happens next. Before you head off, double check you have everything with you and welcome to Brisbane. Happy birthday to you.
So it's the morning of the proposal. How are you feeling? Uh, nerves are starting to kick in, but uh, I'm feeling pretty good ultimately. Everyone's thrown up their hand to give me a hand and do some certain things, so that's really beautiful. It's been 10 years, so today's our actual anniversary. It's not much that can go wrong, a lot to go right, but I'm sure it'll go fine. Yes. <laughs> I don't want to drop this. <laughs> you haven't said yes. I did say oh, yes. I didn't hear you, sorry. <laughs> then yes. <laughs> I'm in shock a little bit. <laughs> Good job. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Very nice. Shaking. <laughs> <laughs>